Hello guys, this is Cyber, and ho hold on a minute, hold on a minute, I know, I know, Cyber, have you lost your mind? Well, just hang on with me, and you'll see that no, I haven't lost my mind, and you read the title right. You don't want realism in games. Okay, I know most of you are probably starting to get a little confused at the screen right now and saying this doesn't make sense. Well, just stick around, hear me out, and if I'm wrong, you can chew me out in the comments, okay? Agreed? Alright. Realism and realistic gameplay are things we hear thrown around when describing games, especially when we're talking about the latest crop of AAA military-themed first-person shooters. And true enough, these games look amazing. This is a big credit to the artists who spend countless hours of crafting these visual experiences. And I personally think it would only get better from here. Realism is all visual in gaming. Don't believe me? Ask yourself. What's the most realistic game you have ever played? Then compare it to what is real and see how it measures up. Newsflash, that game at its core must still be a game. Meaning it has to have entertainment value. I know a lot of older gamers trash this, but regenerating health in games is an aspect to make the game enjoyable. It's not realistic, it's there to make sure you have fun. Visual realism is a very good way to immerse you in the world mentally, and the narrative of the game will immerse you mentally, but the game itself is hardly real. Okay, now I know you're asking, if realism isn't what I want, then what do I want? Well, you want two things from a game. You want it to be entertaining, and you want the game to be understandable. The entertainment part is easy and is up to you as a person. What you consider to be fun may be different from what I consider to be fun, so I won't insult you by dictating to you what a fun game is. My second point was an understandable game. If you as the player can't understand what to do in the game, then you automatically are not having fun, and you will eventually drop that game. Understandability means the control responds to your input, the game has a clear path for you to travel, the win and loss conditions are known to you, the narrative is clearly presented. Go on, take any game that you love and see if those things match up. I guarantee they do. Take FTL for instance. Here is a game that is in no way realistic visually, but those same visuals are clearly understandable, and if you like this type of spaceship management, the game is very fun. Let's look at a game like Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Much more realistic and visual presentation than FTL, and even without this graphical upgrade from Counter-Strike Source, the game mechanics are understandable. The reason that the single elimination with punishing damage works in Counter-Strike is that the win and loss conditions are clearly defined and fair. Most sport games have what I would call ultra-realism, since they can easily emulate the sport, being that it's already a game. And they bring the players into that game. Even with all of this, if the game is not understandable, then you would consider it a bad game. The NBA 2K series has a system of complex moves you can pull off, but you're not required to learn them. You can play the game and have fun only knowing the pass and shoot buttons. And now, if you've made it this far in the video, I thank you for hanging around, and if you agree or disagree with anything I have said, leave a comment and let's discuss it. Once again, thank you for watching. This has been Cyber. Damn, it's, it's like sometimes they cancel out, you know? <laughs> okay, oh, he's back looking at me now.